Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm here to help you pass your U.S. citizenship interview. A few weeks ago, I gave you a simulated interview to help you practice your U.S. citizenship interview. This video includes the applicant's answers for some extra help. By the way, we also offer live mock interviews on our website and have helped a lot of you pass your U.S. citizenship interview. So make sure to check it out. I'll add a link in the description. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Officer Rushmore and I'll be conducting your interview today. Can I please have your appointment notice and your green card? Sure, here you go. Thank you very much. Okay, so please remain standing. I'm gonna swear you in. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. You may sit down. So, how's it going today? Excellent. Thanks for asking. How was your weekend? Pretty good. I spent some time with friends and family. Did anyone accompany you to the interview? My husband and my son drove me here. I see. And where are they now? They're in the waiting room. Okay, great. Did you study for the civics test? I sure did. I studied very hard. All right, then you shouldn't have any problems. We're going to go ahead and start with the civics portion, and then we're going to do the reading and writing test. And if you pass all three of those, then we'll move on to your application. How does that sound? Sounds great. All right, let's get started with the civics test. You need to get six out of 10 correct to pass. Okay. First question. Who is the commander in chief? The president. Very good. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Great. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Very good. You're halfway there. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Great job. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Very good. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Correct. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote, run for office. Great job, you've passed the civics test. Now we're gonna move on to the reading and writing portions. You need to get one out of three sentences correct to pass. All right, for the reading portion, Please read this sentence on the tablet for me. Who was Abraham Lincoln? Very good. Thank you. And now I want you to write this sentence on the tablet. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Okay. All right, it looks good, thank you. So you've passed the civics test and the English reading and writing portions. Congratulations. 
Awesome. Thank you. So now we're going to move on to your application. Okay. What is your current legal name? Doris Jones Brown. Okay. Is that the same name on your green card? Yes, it is. Good. And is that your birth name or do you have a previous name? No, I changed my name after I was married. Doris Jones is my birth name. Okay, great. Do you want to keep that same name on your certificate of naturalization? You do have an option to change your name. No, I would like to use my current legal name on the certificate. Okay, sounds good. What is the basis of your application? Marriage based. Okay. And how long have you been married to your spouse? Since October 2020. Okay. Have you been living with your spouse for the past three years? Yes, I have. Great. Can I have your marriage certificate, please? Sure. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. And did you bring any documents to prove your marriage is legitimate? Yes, I brought our tax returns for the last three years, uh, joint bank statements, mortgage statement with both of our names on it, my health insurance copies, and some wedding photos if you'd like to see them. Thank you very much. Okay. And can I confirm your current physical address? 547 Natalie Lane, El Paso, Texas. Okay, and how long have you been living there? Since I moved here in 2020. Okay. Is this also your mailing address? Yes. Thank you. What is the best number to reach you? 912-559-5555. Thank you. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not. Okay. So how do you support yourself? I'm currently self-employed. Okay. And what kind of business do you have? I design wedding invitations and I sell them online. Great. Can you tell me about your employment history before that position? Sure. I worked at Walmart from 2020 to 2022 as a sales clerk, and then I quit that job to start my own business in 2022. Okay. Thank you. Have you taken any trips outside of the United States since you moved here? Yes, uh, we went to Fiji for our honeymoon. Okay, and how long was that trip? It was two weeks. And when was that? Right after we got married in 2020. Okay. How was it? It was great. I love the tropical weather. Sounds really fun. Any new trips since you submitted your application? Yes, we went on a cruise to the Bahamas last year. Okay, and can you tell me 
when you left the country, the exact date, and when you returned? Sure. We left July 1st and we came back July 10th. Okay. And what was the purpose of that trip? Vacation. And we met up with some friends from Canada. Okay. Thank you. All right. Can you confirm your current marital status? I'm married. Thank you. And what is the name of your spouse? Craig Brown. And when did your spouse become a U.S. citizen? He was born here. Has your spouse ever served in the military or are they currently in the military? No. Okay, thank you. And do you have your spouse's passport or birth certificate? Yes, here you go. Thank you. How many times have you been married? Once. Okay, and how about your spouse? Once also. Okay. How did you meet your spouse? We actually met on a plane and we started talking. That sounds wonderful. And, and when was that exactly? That was in 2019. Okay. Did you have a wedding? Yes, we had our wedding in a church in El Paso, Texas. And who attended the wedding? Both of our parents and a few relatives. And what does your spouse do? He is an associate manager at PayPal. Very cool. And does your spouse have to go into the office or do they work remotely? He works remotely. All right. What is your spouse's birthday? May 1st, 1964. Okay. And do you have any children? Yes, I have a son and a daughter. What are their names? Wilson Brown and Olivia Brown. Okay. And where were they born? They were both born in the United States. And where do they live now? They both live with myself and my husband. Did you bring their birth certificates with you? Sure. Uh, here you go. Thank you. All right, let's go over some of your answers in this next section. Sounds good. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Good. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the U.S.? No, I've never done that because I'm not a citizen. Thank you. And do you have any order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Good. Do you always file your taxes since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I always do. Good. Do you file your taxes jointly with your spouse? Yes, I always file my tax returns jointly with my husband. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Thank you. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No, never. Have you ever persecuted 
any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. Good. Do you know what persecute means? It means to hurt someone badly because of religion or political beliefs. Very good. Were you a member of a paramilitary unit, a vigilante unit, or an insurgent organization? No. Good. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense in your country or in the U.S.? Never. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I have some traffic tickets. How many traffic tickets do you have and what were the reasons for the citations? I have two traffic tickets. One for running a red light in 2021 and one in 2022 for talking on the cell phone while driving. And how much were those tickets and how did you resolve them? They were $250 and $130, which I paid right away. And then I also attended traffic school. Okay, great. That's not a problem. Any other arrests or detention? No, that's all I have. Good. Do you obtain any public benefits in the U.S.? No, I don't. Okay. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. Have you ever been a prostitute or procure anyone for prostitution? No. Good. We're almost done. Just a few more questions. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Very good. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? That is a promise to be loyal to the United States. Correct. So are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am willing to. Great. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am willing to. And will you perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces if the law requires it? Yes. I am willing to. Great. And how about performing work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I am willing to. Very good. I've updated some of the sections. I want you to review all of the information on the tablet to make sure it's accurate. Let me know if there are any mistakes. Okay. Yes, everything looks good. Okay, so please sign the box on the tablet to affirm that everything you've said during the interview and all of the evidence that you've submitted is complete and true. Okay. Thank you. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Make sure you agree to all of the statements. Then you can print your name and sign and date on the tablet. Okay. Okay. 
Just give me one minute. I need to run a quick background check and copy all of your documents. I will be right back. Sure, not a problem. All right, thank you for your patience. I've completed all of your copies, so here are all of your originals, and I have your test results with you. Congratulations, you have passed. I have submitted my recommendation for your approval, and my supervisor will be taking a look at it next. Did you apply online? Yes, I did. Okay, great. You should get a notification in your account in the next 24 to 48 hours for your approval if there's no other issues. After that, you should be able to schedule the oath ceremony. Excellent. Any other questions? I think I'm good. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Let me walk you back to the waiting area. Thanks again. I hope this is helpful. Did you know we offer personalized live mock interviews for you? Check it out on our website.